Hey guys, I'm Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 14.5 has been out, or Beta 3 has been out for a couple of days now. And of course, in this video, as per usual, I like to come back with additional new features and changes, my personal thoughts and experience with the software so far. So in this video, we're going to go over everything, additional new features as always, and of course, the YouTube community poll, where you guys provide feedback on how the software has been working for you. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is my personal experience so far with the software. There's actually pretty good news that I want to share with you guys and also additional new features and changes. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the safety warning feature, which looks to be for the Apple AirTags, the upcoming Apple AirTags, a new product that Apple is soon to be releasing that allows you to tag items in order to track them. Now, Apple knows that this can also be used to stalk a person, right? So if someone tags or puts a tag in your car, for example, they can actually track where you're going. So this is a safety feature that looks to be added to iOS 14.5 discovered earlier this week that allows you to know if a tracker is on your vehicle or something like that near you where it's tracking you so that you can turn it off so you can avoid being stalked, obviously. And Apple has already enabled the items tab in Find My Application, which means AirTags are soon to be released and Apple is taking this particular portion of the safety and privacy uh, section for these air tags very very serious as you can see here so yeah this is one of those things that's been discovered recently this is a pop up here I'll link the source in the description another thing to note is that Apple has updated the modem firmware so if we go to general and we go to about we see that there's a new modem firmware number now this has been updated here recently which means Apple has been working with the network performance and I have to to say this is the first time I feel like 5G is worth it on my iPhone 12. Now if you follow me here on the channel you already know that I've been saying that 5G just really isn't all that good on iPhone 12. With this latest update the iPhone 12 has been performing incredibly well on 5G. For the first time I can say that now when the iPhone 12 was first launched the 5G was just trash honestly. I couldn't really I get better speeds nothing more than LTE speeds or lower in some cases but now with the latest software update and the modem firmware update, I have to say 5G finally is improved on the iPhone 12, at least in my region and in my experience so far. Now, in regards to battery, I do have to say that I get through my entire day with no problem on iPhone 12, but I do want to talk about other devices. And if you follow me here on the channel, as I mentioned, the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus were having battery issues, but with the latest software update, it looks like that has been address so apple continues to improve the battery on the iphone 6s and 6s plus you guys have been asking me if you could update to the latest beta will it be good i would say hold off on every device if you only have one device never put a beta on a primary device but in terms of battery things are looking good on the 6s and 6s plus which was terrible before now on iphone 7 there's also good news here as well the battery has been improved on iphone 7 and 7 Plus as well with the latest beta. I'm happy to report that as well. So iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S, and 6S Plus, finally the battery looks to be getting a lot better. Unfortunately, I can't say that for the iPhone SE first generation. I'm not quite sure why that is, but this is a small device, so I'm not sure what's happening here. The battery is just continues to be terrible for the iPhone SE first generation. But every other device, it looks like the battery has been improved. I would stay away from iOS 14.5 on iPhone SE first gen, just as a quick FYI, so just keep that in mind. I uh, will keep you guys updated on that device here in the next couple of days as more betas get released. But let's head on over to YouTube and the YouTube community poll. And we have approximately 7,000 votes here. A 19% of you guys are having a great experience. 8% of you guys say it's okay, but still buggy. 4% say that it's very buggy and a whopping 69% of you guys are not running the latest beta, which is good. You want to stay away from the betas, especially if you only have one device. As I mentioned, you never want to put it on a primary device. And here it is. The battery is back. The first one of the most popular comments, the battery improvements are here. So yeah, that's good. As well as for iPhone 7 users, it looks like the battery is coming back. So that's definitely, definitely good news all around. As I mentioned, the only device still struggling is iPhone SE first generation and here it is a lot of you guys are just still 
on 14.4, not risking it and going over to the beta, which is a good thing as well. Now, as I mentioned, these YouTube community polls are posted every week, so you can come back, vote, express your thoughts, and let everybody know how your experience has been so far. And that way, everybody can sort of read and understand how the software is performing and all that good stuff. So these are posted weekly, and that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to share those a few changes, the warning for the air tags, the new update for the modern firmware, which improved 5G, and of course, the battery improvement overall. So yeah, thank you for watching this quick update, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.